In Uganda's capital city of Kampala lies African Bible University, where future pastors come from all over Africa for biblical training. The local churches these future pastors will lead are full of people who are unemployed and suffer from food insecurity. That's why EFI has opened a demonstration farm at African Bible University to train and certify them to support their families and congregations through conservation agriculture. My name is Naroga Fiona. I stay in Kampala. I'm seated here in my garden. I have a number of vegetables there. Of course, of what I was trained in, I mulched it, I measured, and did all that I was trained to. This technique is very amazing. Most of the things grow at a rate you can't imagine because of the principles that we are using on this farm. We have learned how to mulch our fields. We have learned how to weed until you harvest your crops. It's a very good method, and I'm glad that I was able to learn and practice it. I didn't really know the use of land. It was just a bushy place and I didn't see any use. But after the training, I decided to mulch it. After two months, I realized the soil was soft. It was like the forest soil and I, I was so surprised. And my parents were like, oh, we didn't know this place can bring out these crops. The reach of conservation agriculture is rapidly expanding. EFI now has about 25 Ugandan trainers who are teaching over 100 farmers every month. The location of the training center has been put in a very beautiful place at African Bible University, whereby all the pastors can be able to access. If the pastors are engaged in this and they get to know how they can feed their families and also they get to share about all this with other people in the church. We are changing Uganda, but we are changing the whole world. This is God's way. This is like the highway of the nutrients. I prepared my garden on time. I left it covered. I didn't leave the soil open to the, to the sunshine. And maize begins from here up here. We no longer buy vegetables. Thanks be to God, it really worked. Because these agricultural techniques render more food than a family needs, families are able to sell their additional corn and soybean harvest through a new co-op called Resin. The Resin team were all trained at EFI and are creating agribusinesses as a way to resource kingdom efforts. Resin has sent teams to Sudan and Ethiopia as well as refugee camps through an organization called Seed Effect. EFI is working to launch at least six more regional farmer co-ops modeled after Resin to help other countries' farmers across the global south. I have the urge to go and train more and more people and more families to learn how to feed themselves. There's so much to learn and so much to know about how we can do our farming the right way and farming the way God wants us to do it. Surely, Uganda is a great model for how EFI is empowering men and women to support their families and their neighbors with tangible skills and resources. In just two years, the people we've trained are serving many churches, organizations, and nations through the blessings God has provided.